Hey guys, it's Brain with Investment Joy. Week 36 and a half. I don't know really what day it is, um, but we're doing a coin collection and we're actually going to restock this machine as per popular request. So I don't know how much money's in it. Um, it's been about a week and a half since our last collection due to everything going on. I can't remember how long it's been. Uh, the prior week we were robbed while I was here and that was a real fun adventure. But um, I was going to do a restocking at some point, so we're going to speed it up so it won't be too monotonous. Get on Instagram, I guess, if you want to see it un unfiltered. We got some, some drinks in here, but not a ton. Looks like we're still in stock of almost everything but monsters. So we put a case of drinks here. Uh, I'll start off with Dr. Pepper. Safety first. Did we get that? Ugh. Just dropped a and W root beer and it exploded. Unfortunately, this happens once in a while. I'm going to blame it on social media fame. Our poor can of A&W that uh, has a hole in it. The bucket did not, eh, I'm gonna have to wash off the bucket now. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna get a camera out of here. Let's see how much money we have. Pretty good. Big shout out to the Investment Joy sponsor of the week, the English Alphabet. Oh, it's making pretty good. What's your favorite word that starts with the letter H? Post in the comment section. I'm excited to hear. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Um, if you have a tin, uh, have a good hold, <laughs> hold on the English language.
collection? Yeah. It's something fun I do and I put them on the internet because everybody wonders how much a laundromat makes. And it's one of those things where I'm not trying to hide that, you know, whether the laundromat makes money or doesn't make money. Because it, it, it does okay. I make a couple thousand a month. But I'm trying to get to the point to where I can get about $1,500 a month profit so I can um, go in and uh, have all these machines ripped out and put brand new everything in. Um, I'm, I, these machines are just a constant struggle in between a lot of them being both older and then um, we get people like these, these ones right here. They're tanks, but people have beat on the mechanism so much, they're loose. Like you can see how this one flops around when you move it. Huh? I played six quarters back there last week and it never did fall down. Yeah, he has to, he has yeah. to, the guy that runs that machine, he has to go in and um, lift up on a piece and do some. I yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just how that machine's made. I know that I've done it too. Oh, did you hit the jackpot? I put 20 in, but I got 13. You got put 20 in, yeah, put 13 back. Yeah, my brother. Well, I'm glad you didn't lose it all, though. Did, did, you, did you keep the 13, though? Okay, well, that's good. That's probably your best bet. I know it's tempting. See ya. Huh? Yeah. Um, there, there's a way to win and I've, I've talked to people and explained to them that it, it isn't always ready to pay out. And if it's not ready to pay out, then you just need to leave it alone, walk away. And I've stood here talking to people and said, you know, it's not ready to pay out yet. Oh, and you know, it's, I run the, I don't own that machine, but I own the laundromat. And I've tried to explain it to them and they just, oh, whatever. All right. But I'm real. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 I've I've seen people do it. Uh, went on a continual basis. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel. I just, I've, I've had tenants and different people I've talked to and tried to explain them, explain to them how most of the, all the lotteries are rigged. And it's sometimes to me talking, like talking to a brick wall. Yeah. I've said to people, you know, some of the people I was talking to, you know, if uh, you'd save back all your money from what you're spending on lottery tickets, after five or five, seven years, you could have your own laundromat. Or, or that, that'd probably be a better investment than, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying I'd rather have a muscle car than lottery tickets. <laughs> Huh? I've been a year dead pretty much all my life. That's cool. I'm hoping to get to that point here soon. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Is this your washer? Huh. I don't know. That's weird. Huh? Yeah. Well, some of these people, I've, I've run into some people, they'll come in and then they'll realize 
or they'll yeah they'll realize that they don't have any money, and then they leave their clothes in here, and then they never come back. You never know with people, but uh, it's just been one of those things where I think you know, I, if if I were them, I would uh, I would take the clothes with me, as compared to just leaving them here. But. As time goes on, I find that uh, people, not everybody thinks the way that I do, so. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I, I've definitely cut down how often I'm here but interestingly enough, the state of Ohio has considered laundromats an essential service, which I can get because in between the soap and the water and the uh, heat and everything, it'll kill the viruses and stuff. But, you know, it's put a lot of people in a difficult position, whether they want to risk going out of the house to go get clean clothes or whatnot. This is the point that I wish that we had drop off laundry service or home delivery or something like that. That's kind of been one of those things we've been, I've been wanting to do for a while. For the most part, 90% uh, alcohol will kill it. And then a really minimal concoction of bleach will. Oh, it's less than that. World Health Organization, as as, uh, as problematic as they have been on some of their predictions, they do have a pretty good guide on what it takes. And uh, it's essentially a lot of the same things that kill the common cold. Right. Yeah. I've never washed your hands much in my life. I always did yeah. big on cleaning. I said, you know, you're going through nails, cramps, and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. My wife. Yeah. I was washing her hands first. I was washing yeah. them for our family. Stripping down before I go in the house. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter, uh, she's a nurse in Hilliard at a nursing home there in Hilliard. My son-in-law, he works at OSU uh, receiving. Uh, he's in registration at the hospital. Mm-hmm. So they're both, like, truly on the front lines. They live there in Hilliard, and, uh, and they come home, they come in through the garage, strip in the garage into a garbage bag. Yep. Stuff goes, you know, they disinfect right there. They get to the shower. Yep. They got a... Boy at home and eight month old granddaughter. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's getting crazy out there. Really proud of them, oh yeah. My buddy unfortunately um, he called me and uh, we were gonna have a meeting today and he said I can't I've gotta cancel I'm canceling all my appointments. And I said, Well I'm sorry to hear that because he's the kind of guy that he's never canceled anything. Or almost never. I guess he has canceled a couple times on a couple different things. And I said, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything's okay. And he says, it, it isn't. So. Well, I was smart enough to take pictures of all life. I've been a big picture guy, so I got family. The, the ones that are surviving in China, if you watch videos, and I do, they're walking around with my freaking hands. <laughs> yeah. And they're smart for it. Yeah. Yeah. I know that... Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of those countries like South Korea and Taiwan and uh, Singapore, they went into lockdown almost immediately. They really went to... Taiwan has really done extremely well for themselves. They saw it happening right away. Mm-hmm. They're one of the countries that's been really hit hard. Yeah. 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 I am so excited about this week's sponsor. We've been sponsored by the letter H. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why would the English language ever sponsor an investment joy video? Isn't that something that they only do on Sesame Street? Well, guess what guys? They pay a lot of money. That's why there's the Sesame Street products in pretty much every store. That's how much money the English language pays you. So if you guys have ever wanted to spell words like hockey, horse, hotel, or this word, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I've watched Are You Being Served about a thousand times. I still don't know what it is, 
but it's a word that starts with H nonetheless. So if you've ever wanted to have free access to the, the, your very own letter H, be sure to hit the link below or the, the link that's on the screen right now and download your free introduction to the letter H at the Investment Joy website. And um, once again, I'm really excited to have them on board as a sponsor. So I am going to have the guys put on the screen how much cash is here. This is from the Coke machine out front. I still have my cash counter at my house because we're using it for an Excel video. Um, this is part of what I got last Friday. I had to come here and refill the change machine and we just kind of recycle through the cash. So I'm going to put through the magic of the internet on the screen how much cash is sitting here. We're going to take some delicious thumbnail pictures. This is where I get my thumbnails from, you know, the clickbaity stuff. So that's how, that's how we get them. I just, you know, kind of stuff it there. And we're going to take this. I've got my, um, I spent $200 on that. That is a um, high tech t-shirt that I'm using to capture my dimes and nickels. I, I am overflowing with dimes and nickels. It's time to go take them to Walmart and uh, <laughs> cash them in and break a machine. This bucket is very nice and full. Yeah, oh, great. That went about as well as I had hoped. Crap. Yeah, that's like everything else. This is my day. And if you notice, every coin collection's like this. Which means every day's like this for Brandon. Gonna get jammed. there's a screw there that's exactly what we want in a money bucket okay so let's see let's see so hopefully this will block the flow that was our coin collection last time power we hope it doesn't get jammed It's working! Cool. 403. Safety time. Oh, I promise it doesn't. Right. There we go. Not doing too bad. All right, now we're gonna dump these in. Oh crap. What the freaking, it's a freaking wood nickel. Some brain scientist.
see if it works. Oh, that sounds uh, good. Pops are good. Oh, wow. 2,269. What a creative number. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go over here. This is from the drink machine. I want to drop this in here. And that's loud. I want to take 2.269. Well, there's a couple extra quarters. 2.269. Figure it up how much that is. And then we're going to deduct it from the... Uh, we'll reset it since we're recording this. Power start. Once again, the dimes and the nickels, they're not counted. All right, cool. 340 uh, coins. Uh, so that's... I'm trying to think. I should know. Three, 100, so 75, 40. What, 8250 maybe? And then we've got the stack of ones over here, which I'll go take home total up. So we've got the coin collection. Um, we'll put the numbers on the screen for how much the laundromat made. So we can do kind of an estimation of how much is in the coin pusher. And a big shout out to the letter H for sponsoring this video. Once again, Brandon with Investment Joy, thanks for watching. That is my 1960s era tripod for the camera. I bought it at a thrift store in town for $1. And it's all metal except the little cell phone holder. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.